previously on Morgan's World, my cousin and my brother hunted ducks. This week, we're cleaning those ducks and having a 1v1 duck cooking challenge with our own designed recipes. Stay tuned to see who's going to win. We've got Morgan the Hunter versus Haley the Home Cook. But first, let's show you how to clean these ducks and we'll get right into it. All right, everybody. Hey, welcome to Haley's kitchen. I kicked her out just for a minute because uh, she doesn't like this part. But a duck. We're, gonna, we're gonna strip a duck. A duck. Yeah, this is River. He's helping me. He's my youngest. Well, my current youngest son. Um. Anyways, so we're gonna take this duck. We're just gonna breast it out. We're gonna just take these feathers, pluck them. So River's trying to help here too, which is awesome. Um, you really want a set of scissors too, usually, and I don't even have a very good knife. But all you're gonna do is you're gonna oh, find right, right, uh, right along the center line here. You've got a breast bone, and we're gonna take the knife and find that bone, and we're just gonna slice right alongside it. So you don't get much off of a duck, surprisingly. But we're gonna take this duck nugget, it's nice and cold. Slice this off. Sorry guys. This is our real life kitchen. This is a real working kitchen, this is not a TV show. Kind of is, but not really. So, there's your nice little piece of meat, we'll wash it off. Alright everybody, yesterday was Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving. Um, a little late. We've been busy. We got another baby on the way. <laughs> Can't really turn my hand that way. We um, are here to do the duck cooking challenge. You saw a couple weeks ago we shot some ducks. Um, and now we're gonna see how to cook them. A lot of people don't like duck. It's kind of a dark meat, almost like a liver here. Uh, and you know, it can be really good. So I'm gonna, th this is already a pretty small piece, but I'm gonna kind of slice it in half. For one, I just wanna make sure there's no BBs that I'm seeing in here. And secondly is the way that I'm gonna do my recipe, I think it's gonna be better. So we got this kind of butterflied. Nice thin little piece here. Take a Ziploc bag. I'm going with uh, somewhat of like an Asian American cross, um, and I'm not sure how it's gonna come out, but that's what I'm shooting for. I'm just gonna take a whole like scoop of garlic. I'm gonna shoot some lemon in this. All right, and then a little bit of this, uh, sweet chili sauce. And I'm gonna dump that in this bag as well. And put our meats in here. And I actually kind of, I'm pretty excited to, uh, pretty excited to try this because I think it's gonna be pretty good. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this as my seasoning for the meat. And then I'm gonna chop up a little jalapeno uh, put some cream cheese, wrap it in bacon, bake it at like three, uh, I'm supposed to bake it at 400 for like 15 to 20 minutes. So we're gonna take 
few of these put in there. Some cream cheese. Some of this is gonna cook out, so I'm gonna put a decent amount in there. Just kind of roll it up into a somewhat tube-shaped object. And gonna just wrap it with bacon. One piece should do it. I think one piece is enough. The reason for the bacon is, well, for one, I think it's gonna make my shit taste better. <laughs> uh, but secondly, um, uh, the duck, I took all the fat off, and I think this is gonna help. So look at that, we got a little duck nugget here. I think it looks pretty good. I'm pretty proud of the appeal. We're gonna rate these on a five star system, and I think I'm getting pretty close. One is like total crap, and five would be amazing. All right, let's stick these puppies in. Now let's see what Haley's got up her sleeve today. I have never really cooked duck before. This will be a first time for me. So I'm going to do a pretty simple recipe too. Because I heard that orange and citrus flavors go really well with duck. So I'm going to do that as well. I got a celery stick. I got butternut squash. Um, a cutie pot, a cutie orange, some garlic, pepper, lemon pepper, and Brussels sprouts. don't burn. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to do a 375 and then I think I'm going to go for 20 minutes and check it and then see how we're doing. But let's put her in the oven. All right, guys, there's not really any prize, but uh, go ahead and drop it in the comments right now who you think's gonna win. I feel pretty good about this one, um, but we're gonna just leave it up to our honest reviews. We're gonna try and be honest with this. Yeah. See, see what happens. Here is my creation. I think it looks pretty good. Um, What's the inside of it cut? Let's go with the lesser duck. This is like a small, like, buffle head. Okay. Smells pretty good. Yeah, that one's nice. Too easy. Mm. <laughs> it's so good. Let me try this. This is the mallard. Let me have her have to try it first. That's good. For a duck, it's not bad. River, hold on. Here, here's the bacon. I know. And River got bacon. Dad. Mm-hmm. I got a hint of a weird flavor on that one. This one tastes more duck-like. Yeah, the mallards, or the pintails more duck-like in this case. I would give the bigger duck maybe like a three-star, like medium to decent. And that smaller one, I don't know if it's just because it's less duck or it's like I wonder more if it's mild. smaller and it just took on more of the flavor of the bacon and everything else. Maybe? Here. The smaller duck's definitely better. Way more mild. I like that. If it was the smaller one, I'd give it like a four to five star. Four I mean, and a half. Four, it, it's really good. So. That one's not bleeding anymore. This one. All right, guys. No. 
Oh! <laughs> Marissa, oh, said no! We're, I'm, we're gonna cut up the duck and we're gonna taste it. We'll see how the roasting, uh, are you okay? Yeah. How the roasting of it tasted. It looks good. Not bad. All right. It smells like roasted, you know, like, uh, game. There's some fatty chunks. Well, here, baby, on the cut. All right. <laughs> there we go. There's Haley's. I got butternut on there and duck. It's her, like, roast. Let's go ahead and pop it in our mouths. Not bad. Not, like, as much flavor as yours. But I feel like the Very tender. Kind of yours came out very tender. Yeah. <laughs> it's that got that was... kind of classic, what, liver tip? taste yeah it has a liver taste but it's not as strong i think mm -hmm. here you go you care i don't think everybody could get behind it i like i'm okay with it but i won't eat a lot of it but is that the little one okay i don't like it as much so the little one for yours did a lot better mm-hmm the bigger one for mine did a lot better. So it's like different ducks take on different flavors of what you make it with, you know? Yeah, yeah. that one's like more livery, huh? Yeah, it's almost... It's almost too livery. Almost hard to eat. Yeah. Like it tastes iron. You yeah, taste it's like iron. Irony. That's what it is. Uh-huh. Like, very much so. I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to be honest and fair. What, who, what would you vote? I vote for his, but for the small one. For mine, as I have a kind of mindset myself, um, for mine, I would vote for the big one. I'm going for more like, if I was just somebody who'd never eaten duck and I wanted something that tasted good, I'm gonna say, I think mine was more uh, edible to the average person. Yeah, mine, it was just, if you've had duck before, you know what you're expecting of the flavor. Right. And it's pretty good. As If you're going off duck in different ways to cook it, um, I want to experiment because I think there's some ways to get that ducky iron taste out yeah, more. It's Morgan, like the heat, the cream cheese, and the bacon and everything, it yeah. sucked all of that iron out. It almost made it to where it added to it. Like it was, yeah. a, it was different, but it was like not bad because it wasn't overpowering. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh, there's something different in there. Yeah. It was, it was kind of like a, a I nice would go twist. For that one. So um, I'd give this one like a two to three star if you base off both the. Uh, yeah. Both the, the nuggets. Uh, what do you think? We gotta have a winner. You're the winner. I'm getting lucky tonight. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that happened a few months ago. Right. <laughs> well, alright guys. I hope you enjoyed this dandy little video. Uh, please don't forget to check out some of our past videos. We do everything. We do hunting. We do fishing. We do camping. We do cooking. We, we do, do giveaways. Giveaways. We do TikTok. We do it all. So I know that's why it's hard for us to grow a following because I'm all over the place, but that's just who I am. Um, let's cut to the next scene where we figure out who gets three, three, three of our viewers get three bars of soaps. All right, guys, the long-awaited soap giveaway is finally here. <laughs> this was for October. Anybody that commented in October yes. is on my little list here. <laughs> so before we get into the giveaway, let's uh, have Haley tell you what you have the chance of winning. Yeah. So this one is my fall soap. I know we're a little uh, past fall probably now. Here, let's see if we can focus it in. And the scent. Okay, there we go. Okay, see, that's my fall scent. It's got some leaves on there. Um, this scent is... Fall. Oh, smells great. It's oh. fall some, I can't remember the name of it. Pregnant no. brain. Bad. Anyways, it's something... Oh, autumn leaves. 
It's autumn leaves. See? But it's like a sweet smell. It's mm -hmm. good. And it's not very like a woman scent, really, would you say? Would you say it kind of like... It's, it could go it could either go or, either, right? It could go either way. Yeah. So this one is really cool. Look, I did some yellows and oranges and stuff Ooh, and reds to have more of like a fall tone to it. This one is a winter wonderland soap. That's an awesome one. Like a man scent, I would say. Yeah. I got one of our own bars here. Oh yeah. It's no, it's, it smells very much like a dawn, like a like a um here, 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 here. It's not directly like a dish soap, but it has not more dawn, of like... Not Dawn, uh, I meant the wrong... Uh, dove. Oh, Men's Dove. Yeah, Men's, men's Dove. dove. Mm -hmm. Very similar to that, like a fresh detergent smell. Um, but it's very good, it's very pretty. They last a long time and they really lather well. I love this these This one things. on top, I did a like a golden speckle on it. Is my popcorn soap that I did. And everything is soap on this one. Um, on the other... I'll show you guys in a minute. This one has soap uh, embeds on the top of it. I'm trying to focus it. It's it's uh, eh, oh focused well. on me for some reason. Oh well. But anyway, so I did red, yellow, and white on this one because uh, popcorn, you know, when you get like the popcorn out of the tubs at like the movie theater or something, you know. Yeah, it matches the, yeah, uh, the old the popcorn theme. bags. Mm -hmm. But anyways, it, it smells actually just smells like, like buttered popcorn. popcorn. Yeah. yeah, you show them your soap. That one's yours, huh? Ooh, yeah. your soap. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys don't win one, uh, go to morgansworldoregon.com. You can buy them. We'll ship them right to your door or wherever you want to buy someone a gift. Great gifts. You don't have to worry about it. You just buy it, put a little yeah. gift message in there, and it's on its way, and your gift shopping is done. Uh, so let's get into the drawing. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to reach out to you guys via YouTube if I can. Uh, so if I don't hear from you, then you may just miss out on the soap. But I'm going to do what I can to try and get a hold of you. Um, you can find, you can email me at uh, OregonOutdoorDude at gmail.com or just leave a comment on one of my YouTube videos. That's probably the best way. So here's my little random generator. Are you going to... Haley's changing a diaper, so I'll go ahead and generate three of these names. Let's see. Oh, the Wildlife OV, buddy. I love this. I'm so glad he got one because uh, some people comment like rude stuff, but it still qualifies. Or some people comment like um, once and then they're gone. The Wildlife OV has been hanging in there for a long time, and I think I know how to get a hold of you. So you got a soap coming your way. That's awesome. Um, I'll let Haley pick out which one, but awesome, man. I haven't seen your videos lately. I, I've been missing them. So I don't know if you're on a long elk hunt or something, but you've just been vanished. So hopefully you're all right, but we'll find you and we'll get you a soap. <laughs> um, let me screenshot that so I don't forget. Okay. Right. And let's choose another, number two. Judah, okay, this is uh, one of the comments. I think I've gotten one or two comments from you. I don't, you're, don't know you that well in the community, but I will do my best to reach out to you. And if I can't find you, Judah, then uh, try to let me know soon so we can get you that soap. Uh, if not, I'll just find somebody that I know I can get a hold of and I'll give it to them. But I'm gonna give you like a month to try and uh, see if I can find you. So, awesome job, Judah. We'll see you on one of these videos. Hope to see you in the comments more and get to know who you are. Number three, the last one. Pete Janista. Janesta. All right, cool. I'm glad you won. You left a nice comment here. I think I've only seen you once or twice in the comments, um, but I read them. I appreciate you. And I'm pretty sure we might be friends on Facebook through mutually. I don't know, but the name sounds really familiar. So I'm gonna try to find you on Facebook. Pete, congratulations, you got a soap coming. That's Haley awesome. made them, she's licensed, she's got her uh, little I'm soap. I'm insured, I'm licensed, everything is legal, so. She's got her little soap business, <laughs> and um, we're gonna send you some soaps, and either you or your wives will love them. Um, but I tell you what, I use them all the time. Lather, lather. Well, anyways, guys. Thank uh, you guys for watching and commenting. That is one thing that we really do appreciate. We do put a lot of time and effort into these. 
we, he has a full-time job, he does the YouTube, I have a full-time, you know, I'm a mom, and then I do the soaps, so we're pretty busy. And we appreciate you guys taking time out of your day, because we can imagine how busy you guys are, too. Oh, for sure. Everybody's busy. Yeah. Um, so we're having another baby. Awesome. <laughs> we don't know what it is yet. We hope everything's healthy. So far, we just had the first ultrasound. Looks good. Um, but uh, anyways, you guys have a good one. We'll see you next week. Peace. It's not a game. It's a red